Larry, you have an interesting story. Yeah. And of a publishing story, and I, most people, I mean, writers are always interested in publishing stories, but readers are too. How I started out actually is I wrote my first novel, Monster Hunter International, and I. Um, I went the traditional route and I submitted it everywhere and I got rejected everywhere. It's a it's a urban fantasy fantasy kind of thing. X Files meets the Expendables sort of thing. So big action adventure. And I just didn't have any luck at all selling it. Um, so I decided I was going to self-publish. Now I have a business background, so I looked at it and I thought, okay, I know who my market is. I know who this is going to appeal to. And so I actually um, I advertised it on internet gun forums. <laughs> Yeah, and um, that was my target audience, and uh, they absolutely loved it, and we did a self-published version, and it took off. In fact, my self-published novel got onto the uh, national bestseller list. It was on the Entertainment Weekly bestseller list, number three, and back in 2008, and that was a big deal for a self-published book. That's pretty unheard of. Oh, yeah. Then uh, Bay and Books had uh, gotten word of me. By, there's a large bookstore in Minnesota called Uncle Hugo's. Huge, huge, huge seller of books, uh -huh. and the owner there read it, and he loved it. He sold the heck out of it, the self-published book. So he, he called Tony Weisskopf at Bayon, my publishing house now, and said, hey, you guys need to buy this and print this guy because I could sell the heck out of this book. <laughs> and so I was, that's how I got to know uh, my current publisher. And they picked me up and they, they reprinted the book and um, uh, the rest is history. Uh, my, my ninth book will be out with Bayon Books uh, this year.